Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. In our today's video, I will go over how to split a shapefile polygon into single ones by using Python. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is create a Jupyter Notebook. So I'm gonna name it as um, as a uh, split. Okay, so splitting shape file polygons. Okay, first, uh, sorry, first thing first. So what we have to do is um, locate the folder. So I'm gonna use, uh, we're gonna use, need to import um, OS, then OS, the uh, CH, D, I, R, and over here. So I'm going to use this folder over here. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Actually, yeah, so I do this step over here just to let Jupyter Notebook know that um, all my files and everything will locate it, will be located in this specific folder. Okay, so now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import um, Upandas as GPD, and also I'm gonna import um, matplotlib. I'm gonna use Upandas to, sorry, I'm gonna use Upandas let me do this, okay. Um, in order to read the shape file and um, matplotlib in order to um, make some plots, that's plt, and uh, matplotlib inline. Perfect. So now let's read the shape file. So the shape file that we are going to use is this one over here, border boundaries, uh, and it contains all the border boundaries. Um, so each of the five polygons for Browns, uh, Browns, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, and Staten Island. Um, those border boundaries are located in New York City. So um, I'm gonna use the variable shape file. And I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna call you pandas, so gpd read file. And over here, I need to specify the location. So we already uh, let Jupyter Notebook know the, um, where is the location of the folder that we, um, that we are um, saving all the files and reading all the files. So in our case, so within, um, inside the folder, the shape file is located here. So we need to specify this one is the folder, this one is the file name. Perfect. So now let's take a look at two, the first five rows by using the command uh, head. Okay, so as you can see over here, um, the shape file has the border code, border name, shape area, the length, uh, and the, the geometry, which is the polygon. So what we what we are gonna do, we're gonna split this shape file. So let me make a, a plot. So I'm going to use matplotlib in order to make the the plot. So subplots, so and over here, fig size equal to, um, let's use 18 comma 10. And uh, let's call the shape file, command plot. And uh, we're gonna plot in the axis that we are creating. The column that we are going to plot is this one over here, but a name, but a name. Let's plot the legend. 
and I and let's show this PLT show. Okay, so as you can see, this is the um, the um, the five photo boundaries. Um, so Browns, Manhattan, uh, Queens, Brooklyn, and Staten Island. So let me uh, improve the this figure here. So I'm going to increase the um, the font size. Update. So let's increase the um, the font font size size um, 15 so you can see and let's move this one over here so um, the command is legend um, kwds and over here I need to um, specify the location and um, should be all upper left Okay, perfect. Now you can see over here. So the goal is we are gonna uh, generate five different uh, five different shape files. In each of the shape files, will contain a specific border boundaries, border boundary. Um, so one for Browns, one for Brooklyn, another one for Manhattan, Queens, and the last one will be Staten Island. So. Okay, so in order to do this, um, we need to do a for a loop. So, um, so let you know that if I call the shape file and I use lock, if I put the location number zero, so the index zero and the border name, uh, sorry, uh, just the location, I should be able to extract the first row. So what we are gonna do, we're gonna basically we're gonna create a for loop, and um, in the for loop, so we are going to save. We're gonna go through each of the border boundaries, um, each of the rows, and we're gonna save that specific uh, shape file into a um, into a shape file. So with, where the shape file will contain just one polygon. So let's. Let's start with um, the for loop. So over here, basically, what I'm um, what I'm doing over here is I am specifying specifying the length of the shape file. So if I use this command over here, shape file, it says that there are just five rows. So I'm basically putting this over here in the uh, inside the parentheses. So therefore, if I put put i, if I print i, so in each of the iteration I will get zero, one, two, three, four, and five, um, and until four. Uh, remember that for loop in Python is R at zero. Okay, let me comment this. So now what I'm gonna do is I need a name. Um, so in order to save the file, I will need to put a name in that file. So let us start. Uh, let's extract the name of the button of this column over here, and uh, I will use each of these name as a uh, in order to to name the 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 file the shape file that we are going to create so name will be equal to shape file and over here we're going to use the command lock we are going to specify the index so in this case i or each of the rows and um, the column so it will be bottom name so if I just put this one over here and run this cell the by using the 
first row, which is the zero. So I will get a Staten Island. So let's run this, shift enter, Staten Island. So you can see over here. So basically we are saving each of the names for in each of the iteration in, the, in this variable over here. So now what we are gonna do We are gonna call the shape file. We're gonna use log. And over here, we're gonna specify the row. So with this one, we're basically calling each of the rows. And then we're gonna use the command to file in order to generate the file. So over here, we should, uh, in order to generate the shape file. So over here, we have to um, specify the location. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, in this folder over here, uh, I am going to create a, um, a folder called, um, called boundaries. And I'm going to save each of the files over here. So let's go back here. So I'm gonna put the name of the folder then over here, I'm going to put a plus. So I'm going to use this string character that I saved in the variable called name. And uh, then I need to add something. So I need to add the extension, extension which is uh, of, the, of a shape file, which is um, shp. So now if I run this, so you will, you can see that um, Basically, you will see like this one and the, the, um, this basically mentioned that the son of the code that it is using to save the, the files is, uh, DP created. But, um, yeah, so it is like something that you can like avoid and don't pay, atten pay attention to this one. But if you go to the folder, you will see all of the shape files that were generated. Each of them uh, contains a specific poly polygon. So let's make sure about it. And what I'm going to do is, so let's um, plot each of them. So I'm going to use the command uh, glob in order to get all the shape files. So I'm going to use this variable over here, shape file names, and I'm gonna use glob. And over here I'm gonna put the the um the folder that I created which is boundaries where I located all the shape files. I'm gonna put asterisk um, that is shp and with this, what I'm basically doing is from the folder, I'm basically getting all the shape files um, or all the files that um, ended in this extension. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a for loop, shape file names. And um, what I'm gonna do in the for loop is basically plot each of the polygons just the shape file polygons, just to make sure that the, um, that, uh, yeah, so the, we split it, the, 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 the polygons. Um, so we didn't make a, a mistake. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna choose this variable over here. I'm gonna read the file in each itera iteration, so it should be I. Then I'm gonna generate the figure. So plt subplot uh, plots right here, fig size, um, this one. And I'm gonna use four comma four. Now I'm gonna plot the shape file. Uh, plot in the axis that we are we just created. Um, I'm gonna put a title. 
So the title will be the uh, I'm gonna use a column, so it should be log. It will be just there is just one row in each of the files, uh, and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the name that is located in the column bottom name and a plt show to show the figure. So now as you can see, the first one, um, which is bronze, so you can see this one is bronze, this one is Brooklyn, this one is Manhattan, this one is Queens, and this one is Saturn Island. You also can open this file, this file over here, the shape file by using QAS. Um, but yeah, so we successfully, we successful, um split all the polygons inside that um, shape file. So thank you very much. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.